good afternoon. Uh, this is for anybody going through the COVID-19, um, anybody who has the coronavirus. Um, I'm letting you know what's been helpful for me in this process, and it's been, I got diagnosed um, Friday, I think, um, and it's now Monday. I'm kind of losing track of days, um, but of course you feel exhausted, you feel tired, you feel like sleeping 24 seven, but you have to get up. You can rest, but then you have to get up to get all that junk out of your lungs. So what I've been doing is getting up, just pacing back and forth in my bathroom, um, cup in my hand and on my chest and up and down my back. Um, obviously if you have like some kind of um, back massage or something that vibrates, that would be great, but not everybody has that. Um, and what else? Um, uh, putting your hands above your head, holding your breath for like 10 seconds, and releasing it is going to make you spit up stuff as well. Um, I've even been doing high knees like this. And no, you're not going to feel like doing that, but it absolutely helps, and you're going to start spitting stuff up. So yes, you need to get rest, but you also need to get up and uh, be moving. And um, one thing that helps me is getting in the hot shower. Um, gives it like break stuff up and then it gives me a little more energy to do things like that before I pass out again. Um, so getting a hot steamy shower, uh, beating on your chest and your back up and down, uh, moving around and if you're able to try really hard to do like high knees and get moving um, and hands above the head, breathe in, breathe out, stay hydrated, drink water and drink um, hot liquids if you can like uh, lemon tea, you know, like a fresh lemon squeezed and thrown in there. Um, I've had so many people giving me so many advice, so many well-meaning people, but it's a lot and it's all different. And so I'm just sharing with you what I've done and what's actually helped. Um, and it's gross, but I just put this on my Facebook. I have a cup for those time, those times where I'm not able to make it to the sink or the toilet um, that I have filled like this much of just mucus that came from my chest. And if you rest and just let, now my nose is running. Good. Hold on. Um, if you just let that, um, stay inside of you, then if you just let that stay inside of you, then um, that's going to harden and it's not good and you don't want to get infected lungs. So um, get up and get to moving around. And if you know me, you know I'm a believer and I know Jesus is going to heal me of this, but um, it's been a process. Um, I've, I've been in physical pain for a little bit, but um, I'm not letting that um, fade away what's, what's going to happen, what is to come. Um, but I just want to share some practical tips uh, and give it to the Lord, give it to God and ask him to reveal to you uh, what's your part in it, which, what do you do next um, and continue praying. Even if you prayed, like I was prayed for and my lungs are completely, uh, four hours later, my lungs are completely healed and n nothing was in my chest and then it came back. And so even if it, even if it comes back, keep praying, keep believing, continue, continue it, keep going, don't let it stop you, uh, keep going. So um, that's just kind of, uh, my two cents in it. Um, so today is what April's, I don't even know what date it is. It's 2020. It's April. It's April 13th. Um, it's almost, it's almost noon. Um, so four, 13, 14, I'm not even right. April 13th, 2020. Yes. So yeah, your mind might get a little foggy. <laughs> But yeah, so I encourage you to keep going, keep getting up, keep walking around and loosen that mucus inside of you. Um, and there's only one way to truly be healed completely. Um, 